It's time to record some of the progress that James has made while I've been at work lately. He got all the trim put in around this and of course it still needs to be cocked and this trim is only primed so i do still need to paint it but it's already starting to look so much more finished anyway trim here and then coming down hi lice hey coming down into the basement he's got all of this coming over into the movie theater area you can see over there and now he is cutting and putting it on this What size nails are you using for this in your brad nailer? <clears throat> size nails? Yeah. Inch and a half. Okay. For the wall trim, I'm using two inch. Okay. So for this stuff. Yeah. Two inches for the corner round, inch and a half. can't finish those two pieces of trim, of course, until we build that door for that. That's the Hobbit door, as I call it. And then same thing with over here. We can't put the rest of the trim there until we buy those doors and put them in. But most of the trim now is done, so hopefully I can start caulking tomorrow. I'm going to work on caulking all of the trim now that James put in while he is over working at the barn. Using the same caulk as always, and I love this stuff because it really is paintable in like 30 minutes. So I'm starting with the back of the door here so I can show you guys how I do it because it's really easy. When I cut this, I cut a small hole versus a big hole because less caulk comes out at a time and then you can kind of control it better. And then I also put an angle on it. And then I put it in as an angle. And I just fill the gap like this with caulk going down. If it's a big gap, obviously put a lot of caulk. If there's no gap at all, I just put enough caulk to fill that seam like that. And then all I do is come behind with my finger and just literally go like this and push that caulk in. Done. And then you just paint it when it's dry. And up here, there's a pretty decent sized gap. I mean, it just literally takes seconds. I don't know why my phone's not focusing, but then with the excess where the nail holes are, I just take it and Rub it in, cover those nail holes. And I promise it's a lot easier in real life. It looks harder doing it on this because I'm trying to hold the phone with one hand and work with the other. So anyway, I promise it's not bad. the sides done they look great they still need to be painted but it looks really good just for reference because I didn't record this part the time lapse shut off I do caulk up here and there caulking both of those gives it a really nice finished look because now there's no gaps or seams anywhere it's just kind of like a seamless finish I know it's hard to pick up because there's not a lot of light done here where I am working but like you can tell over here where I haven't done yet it's not huge but there is a gap here and down here as well. So putting caulk in both spots just gives it a much better smooth finish look. And just a tip when you're doing corners and things, if you put a piece of cardboard, I usually use leftover mail that's gonna get recycled or just some thick cardstock, put it under there and then you don't have to worry about getting any on the carpet or the flooring underneath. And then you can really get in there and fix those corners perfectly. I didn't film any of this because it's pretty boring, but I did get all of the trim painted. 
It looks so much better. Next, I'll have to paint the walls, but the trim has a beautiful, nice, bright white look to it. And I finally also painted the back side of this door. The back side of this door has not been painted literally until today. And I got the trim around the door painted too. So now I'm just gonna finish doing the white stuff along the wall here in the movie theater room, and then it'll be done. This door is what we are putting in now for the bathroom. Hanging pre-hung doors can be tricky at times, but the easiest way is probably to start with the top of the door. Fasten the top of the door first and then work on the sides. Make sure it shuts nice and square and then also make sure that you shim behind the hinges nice and tight. Also, one other little thing, you can see here I'm using a trim nailer to secure the jams in the doorway. Um, I put that in there temporarily. I, I go back through with larger um, trim nails to provide a little bit more security. Look all right? Looks great. That's pretty nice. It's perfect. Yeah, it does. So it's perfectly even without a doorknob. I'll get some doorknobs off Amazon. That's where we got the rest of the ones for the house. They're really inexpensive and I like them. They were easy to install too. My baby's putting up trim. wash that trim off before I painted that sat in our barn for about the past two years <laughs> oh well it'll work here I'm just going in with some interior white caulk to seal everything up so that it finishes perfectly so that I can paint it next whenever the boards meet together I make sure that I put caulk in between those areas so that it's seamless and then I also go through and all of the nail holes that James used to put the trim up and to install the door I fill those with the caulk as well I'm gonna work on painting the first coat of paint on this door. I've painted every single door and every inch of trim in this entire house. And I've definitely learned through doing this that it takes multiple coats no matter what brand or kind of paint you buy. I bought probably five or six different types of white paint and none of them work with only one coat. So anyway, if you're watching this and you've got a perfect white paint that only takes one coat that finishes and doesn't scratch off easily, let me know. I got the bathroom door done. It did take two coats, but it looks really good. And James got the handle put in for me. So, that is done. I'll get this basement cleaned and then I'll show you guys an update of what it looks like because the movie theater part's pretty much done. Okay, coming down into the basement. There's the movie theater room. It looks so much better now that all the trim is up. It looks way more finished than it did before. still need to put the doors in over here. We're actually having trouble finding them in stock. But once we get those doors in, and then the ceiling in this small hallway section here, this room will actually be completely finished except for some decorating. I know along this wall, we wanna put up some old Western movie theater posters, like from John Wayne movies and Clint Eastwood movies, stuff like that but I love it, it looks so good. Oh yeah, and back here, James installed my light in the storage room. Granted, it is a mess because we have a bunch of stuff in here while the basement is still under construction. That's all my fall and Christmas decor. But anyway, light switches right here. Ta-da! So that looks really good. Did hang up a few wreaths as well to start organizing. I love the storage space. You can actually fit a lot into this small area. The bathroom is done too. Other than, of course, we still need to finish the on shower and do the tile work there and the ceiling. But otherwise, everything in here functions. You can tell I have boys. Look at that toilet seat. 
And then of course, when the budget allows it, we will get some new couches in here. We're gonna get really nice electric black leather movie theater couches. And they're going to spread across four seats for the back row and also four seats for the front row. So we'll be able to easily seat eight people in here and then we'll get some beanbag chairs for the kids in the front. But that's it, I love it. James has done such a good job. The finishing touches on this room give it a wonderful finished look. Let us know, of course, if you guys have any questions. But that's it. We're going to keep moving to the other sides of the basement.